Um, what I want to do now is I want to just show us exactly what I do here. You just stack up the trade. So I go on the trade like this. New order. Click on new order. Go to trading view. I make sure my loss size is the lowest. Then I go on a buy stop. Then I also go on the stop loss. You know, I, I want to make it as simple as possible. So I I just put this one on two. So I'm, I'm going high. So I put it on zero because I'm going high. So stop loss is supposed to just carry in case the market goes against me. So then I take the, the take profits. I put this one on eight because the profit should be higher than the entry price and stop loss. So then I, I put the stop loss for the place to be active. I put it higher than the entry price. I'm trying to go back now. Okay, so why this is happening is because my my entry price, this is the entry price I want to, I need to go higher. So I'm just going to go on. I don't want to disturb myself. I don't want to make this thing complicated or I don't want it to be, you know, I want to be as simple as possible. Just, instead of this one, I just go on two. Click on two and to the place I can place. So which what I'm saying is that the market should pick me up whenever this price gets to two five six. Simple and I place. So that's it there. Then I go and do the same thing again. I do it like twice. I, I just do it like twice just to keep it there. Let me do it again. I I like to first of all go to the stop loss to go and click on the stop loss. Just go and, you know, I'm trying to make it as something I can close my eyes and do. That's my goal. I want, I want it to be very, very simple to do. Then, I make the stop loss high. I just change the figure, the second figure, the eight. Then, I, I go like this. I make this one. I don't touch this seven. I just go and touch the third one. No, I don't, I don't just, just don't touch this one because this is what I'm looking for. I want this to change. Okay, I can go and touch the six, but I don't. I don't want to stop myself. I can go and touch the six and tell me no. It's not going to allow me to because of the spread and all that. But but I don't need all that. I just want to do a pending order. Just go and do two, and the place button is active, and I place my order. Then let me go and do a sell now. That's how I do my buy stop. That's Euro USD. Let me go and do a sell stop. I go and do sell stop. So all I do is buy stop and sell. I don't touch buy limit and sell limit. I don't need it. It's the same thing.